My dad is a planner. Anytime he goes somewhere, he consults a map, finding new places, distances, and directions. This summer, both my parents plan to fly to Colorado from their home in England, and I plan to meet them there. When it comes to consulting maps and planning trips, I'm no different from my father. I planned this for months in advance, creating routes, shortcuts, and backup routes through the must-see places of Colorado and the surrounding states. Places like the gold mines outside of Colorado Springs, Bishop Castle, the Mission Wolf, Wolf Sanctuary, Medno Pass, and the Great Sand Dunes National Park, abandoned mines and mining structures around Creed, the Alpine Loop, and Animus Forks, Ure, and of course, Moab. Then, with just five weeks until we leave, Wes makes a big change. Very nice. Now we got, what, five weeks to get it ready to go to Colorado? Five weeks. Good thing we didn't wait the last minute. He went and bought himself a 2006 Lexus LX470 to replace his Jeep Cherokee. I gotta go to Goodwill and see if I can find me some cassette tapes. The biggest reason is I didn't feel comfortable taking the XJ to Colorado pulling the trailer. Um, just a lot of weight going up and down hills with not a lot of engine and this has a V8 in it. So hopefully this does a lot better climbing the hills of Colorado pulling the trailer. Then also I've got the criteria of having a wife and three kids so I need room for all the uh, cargo and occupants. So this made it a perfect fit. And I wanted something comfortable for long trips. So it kind of seemed to check every box. So we're in Wes's workshop, working on a couple of things, getting ready for the trip. Uh, and I've noticed a few strange things he has in his workshop. One of those is his collection of clamps that he's breaking into right now. Uh, oh, that doesn't need to be on the internet. But if you think that's weird, wait till you see his mystery room back here. Looks just kind of like a wall with a couple of closets, cabinets. He has a whole room back here. For his roof rack, Wes went with the front runner Slimline 2. Kind of hoping this thing would have came pretty simple. The Slimline 2 can be installed using the existing factory mounting points, so no drilling was required into his Lexus. It also has a flat base, allowing him to put all of his boxes on, and the crossbars have slots for 8mm bolts, allowing various accessories and items to be attached easily. We both had some basic maintenance to do, including brakes and fluids. One of the biggest problems I had with my Jeep was there was no way to listen to music on the 20 plus hours of driving to and from Colorado. Pack Audio sells an interface that gives me an iPhone input so I can listen to my tunes. Unfortunately, both of our vehicles also actually needed some real maintenance. Is there an air down? Good one. Huh? So that was a good one? Yeah. So I don't know if you can hear me through all this rain, uh, but we're heading up to Luke's right now. Uh, we're going to get, uh, I just had my Jeep worked on, I had my steering rack replaced again, and Wes is getting some stuff done on his Lexus. What are you getting done? Water pump and timing belt. Okay, so important things before we drive across the country. We are just three weeks away. Less than three weeks, right? Less than three, three weeks. weeks. Three yeah. weeks two days ago. So less than three weeks away. Luke is our trusted mechanic. And to say that he's a Toyota guy would be an understatement. So what do you 
what'd you get today? Uh, so I'm gonna start with the important purchases I just made today. Uh, ready for our overlanding trip this summer. We're gonna be off grid, away from some campgrounds for quite some time. So the most important thing I bought was my luggable loo. So I can poop in the woods. Now, after that, I'd say is my first aid kit. I was just convinced to buy this. I was told the one I've got is uh, good for fixing up squirrels and that's about it. That's what the guy actually said. Um, so in here I've got uh, Israeli bandages, uh, tourniquet, um, and some other stuff. Good stuff. Uh, and then finally, with the Hemi, I get about 10 miles per gallon on a good day. It's off-road and in the hills it's gonna be even worse. So I got myself some extra fuel storage. So we've just got days left until we leave now and I'm back over at Wes's barn again to do some more work and help him out. He's been working day and night on this trailer. Last time he went out it was just kind of a wooden box with a little bit of bedding inside. Uh, but he's now got himself a shower, battery, and he's redone the finish and everything. I won't show you too much because if you want to see it you can go check out his channel where he's going to have the whole build videoed for you. I've also been working on my trailer, but I had a problem. I applied for a title for the trailer about seven weeks ago, and I called them last week and found out that it takes eight weeks for them to process the applications. So I wouldn't get the, or I probably won't get the title until after I've left. Um, I did go in last week and talk to them in person, and they said if I do an in-person application, then it would be done by yesterday. But my title wasn't done yesterday. So I'm going to give it one more day. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to be moving the tent from the trailer onto the roof of the Jeep. Uh, I really don't want to do that because that's going to mean that uh, I don't have anywhere to put my spare tire, I don't have anywhere to put my fuel, so it's going to be a massive pain. Hopefully the title comes through in the next couple of days, but if it doesn't, a lot of work to do. Uh, you have to subscribe and follow and find out on the next video.